Oh my god, you guys, have you seen Bridgington on Netflix? I literally have to like peel myself away from watching that show to get other things done because it is so good and if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're looking for a good show to watch, I definitely highly recommend them 10 out of 10. I cannot wait for season two. They've already announced that they are going to do a second season so I'm so ready for it. I'm so excited to see what happens. I didn't even want it to end. What is up my kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Guess what you guys, if you didn't already know, time has just been moving by so fast, but we are in February, the month of love, and it is Black History Month. How can, um, don't let anybody forget, don't let anybody forget, and we are definitely celebrating. It is not a trend. I repeat, Black History Month is not a trend, y'all, okay? Y'all tried it in 2020, not this time. And with that being said, I will be doing a full face of black owned beauty products. I hope you guys are ready. I have a lot in store and I'm really excited to get into this. I typically usually do start with my brows already done off camera just because, you know, it saves some time, but for brows today, we'll be taking the Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil. Um, and this is in the shade Black Brown. I generally like to brush all my brow hairs up. You know what, I should probably, um, I think it probably is that time to go ahead and do an updated brow routine. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my under brow. So after doing the bottom line, I like to go and do the top and fill in just any like pieces that I see are missing and are lacking. And then when I finally am comfortable, I move to the front of the brow and I start doing hair strokes. So you are able to achieve, you know, quite like a natural looking finish with the Brow MVP from Fenty Beauty. This is a great pencil. So now what I usually typically do is put on some primer and I am using the primer from Fenty Beauty. Miss Rihanna, she really came into this industry and just did her thing. She dropped the mic and said, y'all can have it. And give us more, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Pro Filter and this is the matte primer right here. We're just gonna, you know, get our face ready for the business. All right, so the next step in my routine usually is to cover up my brows. But I feel like doing foundation first. So what I'm gonna do, we're staying in that Fenty Beauty family and she shook the industry when she dropped her pro filter foundation. And I'm gonna be honest, when she first came out with it, I was not a fan. I was like, girl, what are you doing? I look like an Oompa Loompa, but this foundation is probably one of the only foundations that does not settle in the one laugh line I struggle with, so I love it. Oh sis, are we out of this one? Really? But not to fear because I had another one. I am in the shade 430 and do you see how orange it is? Literally, I was like, there's no way this is gonna be my shade. It is too orange. It's just not gonna work. But as it starts to dry down and oxidize, it just is a match made in heaven. So you can see now that it is a little bit more dry, it has definitely lost more of its orange tone and is looking more true to my complexion. And the finish is just one of those things you don't forget. <laughs> it's just such a good finish. You know, sometimes during the makeup process, you just start looking a little crazy, but you know, you definitely need to just trust the process. So the next thing we're gonna do is take some concealer from Beauty Bakery. Cashmere is such, you know, a beautiful person inside and out. So with that being said, I'm taking Instabake, their three-in-one concealer, and I believe this is the shade Creme Brulee, and I'm gonna mix that with the shade Desertation, and that is what I'm gonna use to carve out my brows. I think it's such a cute idea. The whole, if you think about it, the whole idea behind Beauty Bakery is absolutely cute. Just like you heard the name Creme Brulee and Desertation, like the play on words for all the products are genius. 
So I'm gonna take the two concealers from Beauty Bakery and I'm gonna use them underneath my eyes, starting with Desertation, which I believe is the darker one and closer one to my actual skin tone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. So now I'm just gonna do like two dots of the lighter one. Well, three. Three, three dots. This kind of seems biased, but I'm back again with Fenty, and this is the Matchstick in Espresso. I love me a good cream contour. Out of there's just mm, the way it just melts in the skin, you know the product. I love the way it looks, and I'll go over with like a bronzer um, and powder when I'm done. But mm, it's just seamless when it goes on the skin. It literally is like butter. Uh, so I, well, you can see it happening here as we speak. Hello, welcome to my face. It's so great to have you join the party. So we haven't set anything yet and I will be setting underneath my eyes in certain areas of my face with the Black Opal HD Setting Powder and this is in the shade 100. It just gives this look of blur that you don't really usually get with my other powders and I really, I really do like that. I look airbrushed to be honest. So our complexion guys has been pulled together and I'm loving every inch and minute of this face right here like ooh, honey 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 Now it is time for the eyes and you guys are in for a treat I'm gonna you know try and we're gonna do something bright and different and bold and colorful So I will be right back. There are so many options, but I kind of let the theme of Valentine's Day and like pink take over with this one but I'm not mad at what it's doing. So for the eyes, we're using Colored Rain, of course. They, it was a, it was a fight though. It was between Juvia's Place and Colored Rain, and I was like, you know what? Let's do Color Rain. First off, we are starting with their Juicy Boost palette, and the first shade I'm taking is Apple Strawberry. I'm placing Apple Strawberry right in my crease, and this is gonna be our transition and just like the base of today's look. Do we see this pigment going on here? Color drain is not to be slept on, y'all. Like, I didn't even use a white base, people. I'm also gonna build that color right along the outer portion of my eye. I'm also taking apple strawberry and running this right along my lower lash line. All right, my good people, you see, we cannot have as much fun without cutting the crease. So I'm gonna cut the crease and be right back. And just like that, we have cut our crease into this shape that we have going on here. So the first thing I'm gonna take is coconut water and this is from the Juicy Boost. So essentially I'm just making, I'm making gradients here. So I'm gonna start off with a white and I'm just gonna pack this color down. Next I'm taking pink grapefruit. Now I'm taking cranberry vanilla. I'm simply lining these colors up together. I'm using a very small detailed brush. I got this brush on Amazon and it is for painting very fine details on actual paintings like with paint. Not makeup, but who said? I mean, a brush is a brush, right? I'm taking apple strawberry again and placing it right next to the previous shade. Basically, I'm just gonna repeat the white, the light pink, the medium pink, and red over and over until I get to the end. And you know, like, bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Now that we have finally finished this masterpiece, I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight and I'm taking Sweet Ruby. I'm gonna go ahead and place this right in my inner corner to go ahead and add that sparkle. And just like that, our eyes are practically done. I'm gonna take a liquid liner from Beauty Bakery called the Lollipop Liner to go ahead and define my eyes a bit more. And then for lashes, I will be taking lashes from Colored Rain, and they are in the style Glamazon. They are one of my favorite lashes. They're all about drama, and they're extremely fluffy, so I'll see you guys as soon as I finish up these things. I was not expecting to do such a in-your-face look, but it's in your face, I'm in your face, and I'm ready to get done with the face. Oh, you guys, I am so happy with the way everything's turning out. I feel like I say that about every look. I'm, I'm so happy about the way everything's turning out. I am, though. I am, I'm really happy. We are going to go ahead and sort of bronze, if you will, and I'm going to take the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and this is in Dark to Deep. I'm gonna take Sculpt, right? Because I don't wanna go like too crazy, so I'm gonna take Sculpt. And I'm just gonna go right in here. 
and I really love when you cream contour you sort of set the base you set the tone you set the mood for what your powder is gonna be doing so I'm really happy with like everything Let's set it again now that I'm looking like a great piece of delicious rich chocolate I'm gonna go ahead and add some color back into my face and I will be taking the lip bar minute finish face palette and I'll, the blush is called smize and I'll be taking this one right here and place it right on the apples of the cheeks show the cheeks some love staying in the same palette I will be taking the shade pose to go ahead and highlight a little bit and I've been really liking more of a like subtle glow like uh, Mm. I like that. So I'm a little obsessed with the whole look that's going on here. It's definitely time to move on to the lip portion of things. We have a little lip recipe because it's very rare that I really do end up with just one lip product on my lips. So we're going with a lip liner, lipstick, and a gloss. And the first thing I'm taking is that lip pencil and this is from Pat McGrath. She is an absolute queen when it comes to creating products. So this pencil is called Ground Control. It is in the, what I think is like the perfect shade of brown for a lip liner next I'll be taking the lipstick from mented in the shade pretty in pink now this is not like a super this is like more of a nude pink this is probably like the shade of my bottom lip I was right <laughs> I don't know, I've just really been loving like the glossy look of late. So we're taking Juvia's Place, hello. Um, I will be taking the Juvia's Place lip gloss and this is from their Vanessa collab. This is in the shade Legit Nude. Oh God, pop it right in the center. It is a bit more brown than the lipstick, which is fine. Oh honey, when I tell you this combination, you I hope you were taking notes. I hope you took some notes on this lip recipe today because it is not going to do you wrong. Oh, wow. So now in order to set the face and everything in place, we are going to take the Sweet Grace Baking Spray from Beauty Bakery and we're going to spritz our face. And there you have it, folks. A queen was made in the making. I am I'm not going to say it. Because y'all know how I feel about this look already. Just so, uh huh, I know, yes, I am, I really am. Oh my goodness, a full face of black owned beauty products created this, and I am so proud to all of you amazing black business owners out there who are just running, chasing, and making dreams come true, and just, you know, setting that path for others to follow in your footsteps. I'm just so happy with the voices that we have in this beauty community. So kudos to you guys and I wish you nothing but the best. I had a lot of fun creating this look. Really, I <laughs> I feel like she's back. I feel like Stella's got her groove back and Stella being me. Products used in today's video definitely perform as you saw here today. I want to thank you so much for joining me in creating and just celebrating Black History Month, celebrating black owned beauty brands. If you enjoyed this video today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and feel free to drop some comments down below what other black owned businesses do you support I would love to know drop them down in the comments below and if you want to see me on all of my other social media platforms don't forget to follow me on Instagram everything will be linked down below in my description box and if you are not yet a friend if you're not yet subscribed to the channel it is okay now is your chance go ahead and click that subscribe button and while I have your attention ladies and gents please do not forget to go ahead and click that bell button so <clears throat> so you are notified each and every single time I upload a new video I don't want you to miss I mean why would you want to miss this why would you want to miss what I have in store for your future hmm? But that is all for now. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video. Bye, you guys.